So let's study about the hash table data structure and we will discover how this data structure, how this data structure hash table performs much better than any other data structures. So let me take an example of uh, uh, some integers. So I will take some integers, random integers, 12, 15, 17, 28 and 39. So these are the integers that I have taken in this example. So now what I'm going to do is, let's suppose I want to perform a function which is used to search uh, a particular element inside this array. So I will store this whole given integers in an array. So let me first construct an array here. So I will create an array like this, which will store five elements in it. So now I will insert all the given elements inside this array in this manner. So first we will see how we uh, used to perform the search operation in this array and then we will see how we can actually convert this whole method in a hash table and then we will see what is the difference in the time complexities among uh, these two data structures. So we know that in an array we have index values. So I will assign the index values on top of this array. 1, 2, 3, 4, like this. So we know at this position that this is the index position and these are the values. So let's suppose I want to search the position at which the element 39 lies. So now I want to perform a search operation which will search the particular element and it will return its position in it. So in order to do that, what I will just do is I will run a for loop from zero position and I will compare it with this element and this procedure will go on and on until and unless I will find the element and then I will just simply return the uh, I will just return the index value or uh, this is known as linear search. I can also use a binary search to get a better time complexity. So we know how to do this and this will give me a time complexity of big O of n which is we know that it is at the fourth position so it will be big O of 4. So in this case the element lies at the index position 4. So this method will give me a time complexity like this. Even if you use a binary search tree, you can use some other data structures so that you can get some better time complexity like big uh, O of log n or n log n. So this is how we perform search operation in different data structures. So let's see how we can optimize this by using a hash table. So the idea is to convert all the index values in the keys. So before moving on to that, I will just write an important point here, which is that there is no relationship among, no relationship between index and the values. So if you will consider this data structure here, which is the array, you will see that the index positions are in no way related to the values. They all are distinct. So now what I will just do here is, I will say that uh, I will calculate the mod modulus 
10 of the given integer and before doing that I will first create an array of 10 numbers so I will write I will divide this array into 10 parts 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so now I will write the index positions on the top of this array 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so now there are 10 blocks in this array so what I will do is I will say that we will pass these given integers inside this array we will pass it to this function which basically calculates the mod 10 of that integer so let's pick up the first element which is 12 we are selecting the first variable which is 12 so what is the value of 12 mod 10 and we know that mod is basically uh, the remainder so this is going to be the operator the modulus operator so the remainder of 12 divided by 10 gives me 2 so when I will calculate the modulus of any integer in the given set of integers then I will get a value here which is 2 now what is the idea behind this whole thing is that after calculating the mod whatever value I will get I will just store the value of that integer which we have selected under that particular value which we have calculated using this function so this is a modulus function and this will store the value of uh, the value of 12 under 2 so the index position is 2 here and the value is stored at this position and you can see in the in this data structure which is array there is no relationship among the index and the values but in this type of uh, method since we are calculating the modulus of this one we are actually drawing a relationship between the index values and the values here we are calculating you can see that the index positions are basically mod 10 of the values so this means that at this position if i want to search 39 which was our main task what i will just do is i will create algorithm i will just perform this operation 39 modulus 10 which will give me 9 so before uh, doing this let me just first insert rest of these integers in this array so 15 mod 10 will give me 5 so I will store it under the 5th index position Simil similarly 17 will come under this one 28 will come under 8 and 39 will come under here so now let's see what how we can perform the search operation let's suppose I want to search for 39 in this data structure I will just calculate the mod of it whatever value I will get I will just say that the value lies at the ninth position so at this point what we have noticed is we have actually drawn a relationship among the index positions and the values so I'm going to write here a very important point index positions now has A relationship of mod 10 we will just calculate the modulus 10 of the values and we will just store them under the result with the values so now we have relationship among the index positions and values and when we have got this 
a relationship now we will no more call this index position as index we will call it as a key we will call it as a key and the value stored under this key is just known as a value so basically i will just say that now we are going to call index positions as keys so this means that unique keys unique keys will map to unique values for example if we take an example of key 5 it maps to the value 15 similarly you can see that there are uh, some other keys which maps to unique values and this is basically because we have chosen a set of integers like this so now i'm going to define some terms here so first of all now this whole data structure is no more a array this is not an array now now we will call it as a hash function sorry we will call it as a hash table so now this is a hash table and a hash table is a data structure which stores the keys which maps to the values so this is basically a definition of a hash table and we have seen the significance of using a hash table because this operation which is 39 modulus 10 is the only operation which will give me the which will be able to search it in big o of one time which is the constant time complexity which is much much better than any other searching algorithm we have done before so this is a hash table and the function this function which we have used in this scenario in this particular example is basically uh, it can change uh you can use some different hash function to draw the relationship among the keys and the values and the more complex the data will be the more complex this hash function will be so we call this function this whole function we will call this whole function as a hash function and this whole procedure of mapping the keys to the values using a hash function is known as hashing so this whole procedure is known as hashing so now we have a working knowledge of what exactly a hash table is what is hashing and what is a hash function using this example and we have seen how this improves the time complexity but there are some problems with the hash tables with using the hash tables and we will see that problem and we will also discuss how we can sort out that problem so the problem with the hash tables or the hashing is collisions so let me just uh, modify this example to show you what exactly is a collision in this set of integers i have deliberately chosen these set of integers so that the modulus 10 of these values will map to unique values so the keys will map to unique values if i will insert element 22 in this given integers in this given set of integers we know that 22 modulus 22 i will write it here 22 modulus 10 will give me 2 that means that i will have to store 22 at the second position but then whenever you will try to insert the value 22 at the second position then the operation will say uh, no uh, this is basically a collision because 12 is already stored at that position so you cannot store 22 at this particular position so you might be using a hash function that will map uh, more than two values to a particular key so let me define what is collision at this point so collisions happen when there are 
more than one value that maps to a single key. That maps to a single key or you can even say the converse of it that a single key is mapping to more than one values. So in this manner you can see that this is a problem with hashing. A collision will occur if you will try to insert 22 in this data structure. So this uh, this is basically collision and there are some ways to handle these collisions or to avoid these collisions. One way is to use a hash function, a better hash function. The choice of hash function is very important and this choice becomes more and more complex if you have more complex data. In this example, it was not that much complex, but the hash function, the choice should be made so that there are less collisions. So now we, in the next tutorials, we will study how to handle these collisions. We will study some methods like chaining, open addressing, And in open addressing, we will study methods like linear probing. We will also study double hashing. So we are going to study all of these methods. This is basically the part one of this whole data structure. This is the part one. In the next part, which is the part two, we will discuss chaining. And basically all of these methods, these are the methods that are used to avoid collisions, to avoid or I will say to handle collisions. So hash table is a very important data structure to learn and you will you, you will be using hash tables in a lot of uh, problems and then you will be able to solve that problem and this is basically an optimization over this plain array and in the next tutorial we will study about collisions and why they how we can handle them